aggregate deduction function is how inputs are magically changed into output. This is a metaphorical production function where corn is turned into an egg. Inputs are land, labor, capital, and the state of technology. Output are goods and services. Here, the input is a corn cob and the output is an egg. The production function I'm going to use in this video is the Cobb-Douglas, which takes the form GDP equals the state of technology times the square root of capital times labor. I have used a graphing calculator I found on the web to graph the Cobb-Douglas production function. Notice that as more capital is added to a fixed amount of labor, output increases, but at a decreasing rate. As capital is increased from $5 per worker to $10 per worker, output increase increases by 100 from 225 to 325. As capital increases from 10 to 15, output increases by 5. This is known as diminishing marginal returns. Decades of data confirm both the shape of the curve and diminishing returns. In this picture, I have taken a graph from Timothy Taylor's free online textbook that shows the shape of the aggregate production function. If you'd like to access this book, please pause this video and use the link on the screen. When the state of technology changes, the production function shifts up as seen here. Many think that the technological change has to be a whiz-bang, awe-inspiring innovation like the internet. But many changes simply involve finding a faster way to do the same task with less. Here, these women fill up barrels with water and roll them back home instead of carrying the water on their head. This innovation saves four trips to the well and is an example of what I consider to be technology. Can you think of any others? One last characteristic about the aggregate production function is that it exhibits constant returns to scale. That is, doubling the amount of land, labor, and capital doubles the output. In this example, doubling the inputs and plant size doubles the output from 3 to 6.